How's it going, people? Jared and Andrew. And a newcomer, Austin. Yep. Both my nephews uh, hanging out today on this autumn day. Lovely autumn day here. We got a treat for you today. Let's go ahead and cross, guys. They're waiting on us. This is the Alcovey Trestle Bridge. Tried to do a video out here a couple weeks ago, but we got rained out, so decided to come back. I know this is a, it's a little late, okay? Halloween's over, but still. I'm gonna share some facts with you about this place. I couldn't find a year of when it was actually built. Now you see the, the iron trestle, obviously, but then you also have these stone pilings. Now I read that these were built um, several, possibly several decades prior to the Civil War. This was one thing that General Sherman did destroy on his march to the sea on the high tower trail so apparently this bridge has been a, a train line for quite some time ever since the 1800s i'm assuming that the trestle that stands here now which is uh by the way still active it's a csx line i believe it was built possibly in the early 1900s i mean from the look of it the iron and such it would have been from the height of when they were, you know, producing iron in this country. So probably late 1800s, early 1900s, and it's still operational. It's a CSX line, still operational to this day. Okay, so that's really all the mundane history I could dig up on the place. Okay, but that's not the interesting thing. I mean, it is interesting. What the heck? It's comforting. That is a body part of an animal, I'm assuming. It looks like a deer liver or something. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, there's the rest of it. Oh, nice. I called out. That was a good call. Sorry, I'm gonna have to uh, block blur. that out. I'm gonna have to blur that out. You guys don't wanna see that. There go, I think boy. Austin's scarred for life. No. That deer got hit with something real hard, real quick. I wonder why they cut its head off. All right, anyway, we're gonna come down here uh, briefly and we're gonna talk about the haunted history of this place. Okay, so from gathering this information online, I've concluded that there are three main uh, topics when it comes to the haunted history of Alcovey Trestle. Okay, so the first one that you always find when you look it up is the story of, it, it came from the 1940s, supposedly. Uh, there were a group of vigilantes. Apparently they would come out here with black men, uh, victims, and they would force them to walk down the line. I know the sun's kind of obstructing the view. They would force them to walk down the line to a certain point. They would hang them. They would push them off so they would actually hang them right it says right over the river here so they hung several black men out here okay so that's one reason why they say this place is extremely haunted okay the next thing is apparently sometime in the from what i understand the the 60s would have been sometime around the civil rights movement there was a a black woman that had apparently been involved with 
in a relationship, a sexual relationship with a younger, younger than her, uh, white boy. I don't want to call him a boy. He was a young man. I don't know how old he was, but apparently they had uh, been sexually involved. They conceived or they were going to conceive. Uh, she became pregnant. He denied it. They blamed her for all of it, of course, because it was back in the civil rights and it was, you know, a different time here in Georgia at that point. So apparently she was brought out here and mutilated out here at the trestle. So if they were doing it, if they were hanging the black men out here, it was probably just common practice for them to bring her out here and do the same thing. They were victimized. As I've, I've said before, I have sympathy um, for things that happened here in the South, as far as that goes. But those are, those are terrible stories, um, awful things that happened. The final thing that happened that makes this place haunted is apparently there was a, uh, a little kid, um, don't know how old he was exactly, I wanna say probably anywhere from eight to 13 years old, uh, would come out here on his bicycle on a regular basis. Uh, one particular evening, he had brought his bike out here. It started raining. Uh, so he started on his way home. He was going down the road, Alcovey Trestle Road. I'm not sure the year that this happened, um, but he was stopped by a man in a pickup truck, picked up. The man told him that he was gonna take him home. Well, it turns out that he actually ended up um, mutilating him murdering him in a, a, a brutal kind of way. Uh, his body was found out here. And apparently what the stories are, you can see a black woman with a pregnant belly walking up and down the line here, uh, wailing, screaming out. Uh, another thing that they say is that you can see the young boy riding his bike somewhere up here, maybe on the road as well. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is probably the most known, the most famous, is that you can see figures hanging from the bridge here. So that's the haunted history. That's everything that I gathered online about this place. So right now we're just going to take a, a gander, walk around, and see what happens. You guys feel any certain kind of way? There might be ghosts watching this here. Yeah, there might be. This feels like a place for the screwed up past. Yeah, very, very dark past. There's, there's a lot of information on the haunted history of this place on the internet. Hey, look. I think our dear friend came through here before he got absolutely demolished yeah. up there. Yeah, the, oh. last time we came here, needless to say, there was no decapitated deer. Oh, disemboweled as well. So we've got quite a lot of graffiti. I'm sure this has been a hangout spot. This, this has been a hangout spot, clearly for the adolescence of Covington. And, you know, a lot of these stories that we hear of, a lot of them might be old wives' tales because, you know, the, the parents just didn't want their kids out here. They tried to scare them to keep them away. But you never know. I mean, I wouldn't doubt, with all the dark stuff that happened in the South, with, with the racism and whatnot, I wouldn't be surprised if all that was true. Everything I just told you. I'm gonna uh, try to just take a, a little walk down the, the bank of the river here, if I can get to it. There's a big puddle over here.
apparently this is also a fly tipping spot as well. Uh, not good, not cool. Illegal dumping going on down here. The river looks like it's actually up a little bit because of all the rain that we had. I just heard something up there. Yeah, me too. There could have been the wind. The wind is blowing, but I did hear. I would potentially say probably the wind as well, but yeah, I heard there's like a big thump. It sounded like a thud like on steel. Like a, like a footstep, like a boom, like a big step. Like someone walking across with boots on like steel plating. It just sounded like the bridge creaking to me from the wind, but it was still kind of creepy. Had that creepy metal sound. That was weird. Probably nothing though. Most likely. People litter, you know. People are unfortunately. Talking. So just think, Andrew, I mean, like right above our heads pretty much is where they say several men lost their lives by being hung. There's probably several people that probably died building the bridge, I would think, probably. It didn't say anything about that. It just said you know, all the other stuff that I mentioned. I don't want to go too far off. I don't want anybody to mess with my car. But That's creepy to think about. The back then you could just be walking through and just boom, hanging person. You know? Yeah. Or like you just walking and then like at the edge of the cliff side, kid's body. I have a clip there of a couple weeks ago when I was out here with Matt when it was raining and our sound was destroyed in our video I, I was standing over here and I saw what looked like a body down here I got closer and it was one of those big dolls those big plastic dolls just randomly right here but it's gone now it's weird I was expecting to see it here but it looks like maybe it got washed downstream somewhere I would say maybe somebody picked it up, but all the litter and trash that's out here, I seriously doubt that. Oh, wait, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. She moved. Her head was pointed up. A leg. Yeah, that's what I saw. I saw a leg and I was like, that looks like a body. It oh. scared me for a second and I had to get closer and I was like, oh, okay, it's a doll. Why is there a doll in Alcove River right here? That's weird. Why is there a hanger in that tree? Chris, 2K17. Yeah, these pylons here. Just think, man. We're standing next to history. Yeah. This old bridge, and it, it's it's not even for sure, but they think that it was part of an old bridge. See, I didn't even read that part last time I came out here, but I knew there was some kind of significance to the pylons. Yeah. Why would, else would, why would they just put random stone pylons right there? This is part of history. This is something that was burned by General Sherman in the Civil War. That's pretty incredible if you think about it. Yeah. And we're not far from the High Tower Trail. And that's the trail that he took from 
Tennessee all the way to Savannah and the march to the sea. I don't want to go back that way. That's where the deer carcass is. Sacrifice or something sick like that. So yeah, that's gonna conclude our trip to the Alcove Trestle Bridge. Uh, I'll get a shot of G Money over here real quick. G Money. Uh, did you hear that? Yeah. I will say that we have heard a few mysterious sounds that we can't exactly say what they were it's probably better if you come out here at night maybe we'll do like oh dude look at that that little chain yeah thing up there. what's up with that why is it up there i don't know that's that's weird it doesn't really look that old no that chain looks so shiny it's bizarre look the the clip still has a barcode on it with a tag. How did you even get that up there? I don't know. How would you get that up there? This is somebody working on the bridge. Maybe we'll come out here late one night. Like maybe maybe we should come out here at like three in the morning or something. Don't don't shine the camera, but someone wants to receive pics. Huh? Somebody wants to receive some pics. I don't get what you're looking at. Right there. Send. Send. Oh. <laughs> wow. So yeah, people. Al Kobe Trestle. We could, we could be like all the famous YouTubers and do a 3 a.m. challenge. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe if you come out here at night, the... Yeah, that'd be awesome. The activity is heavier. Maybe I'll, I'll consider doing that. I don't have a good camera to see in the dark though. I'm 